appreciate your reporting tonight. Let's get over to meteorologist Dave Aguilera and talk a little bit more about that snow, Dave. Yeah, I think it's going to be rough all the way through uh, the weekend, through New Year's Day, through New, uh, New Year's Eve, uh, as far as avalanches go with this heavy snow coming in. It's already started up in the mountains. We've already had uh, problems along uh, I-70 through the Glenwood Canyon with accidents and that type of thing up there. And it's not even real heavy yet, but you can see snow starting here with a little disturbance pulling in, and it's going all the way up here to Rocky Mountain National Park as well. So we told you yesterday there were three uh, disturbances. That one is coming through right now, but these two are much larger. One going through California right now, and the next one coming straight out of Alaska here. They will be teaming up between now and New Year's to bring us the change. Now, first of all, this one's a big, deep trough with this low pressure down here, opening up the door for cooler air to drift down as well as moisture. Then this one, which is cold, cold, cold right out of Alaska, that's going to drop in on Friday. So here's what happens between now and Friday. This low shoots down south. That'll open the door initially for uh, the snow in the mountains and get some upslope going in Denver on Friday night as it moves over Amarillo here. There's the upslope. There's the snow in Denver shooting over. Then this low drops in right on top of that. That keeps the upslope going all night Friday into Saturday morning. And for that reason, we're going to see heavy snow in the mountains, but I've upped the ante for some of the snow in Denver as well. I'll show you that in a second. First, let's show you the winter storm warnings now. Tomorrow morning early through Saturday morning, one to two feet of snow in the pink shaded areas we see here. I think uh, around Rocky Mountain National Park, about 10 to 20, 8 to 16 along I-70 through Summit County here. But all of the mountains have the potential for at least a foot of snow. And a few of these western mountains might even see a few spots that reach three feet by the time we get to Saturday morning. Okay. Here's the Denver deal now. I'm going to show you two models. One is conservative, one is uh, a little more aggressive. So this is the conservative one. For Friday night into Saturday morning, we're going about three to six inches of snow around the Denver metro area here, maybe five downtown. Okay. The more aggressive model, this is uh, the GFS model. This has a little more snow as we roll you through New Year's Eve into New Year's morning. And this has maybe about four to seven, maybe eight inches of snow through the area here. So I'm going to say we now at least have the potential of three to six on New Year's Eve. Could be more if this thing really lingers and comes together for us. But anyway, it's like I said, New Year's Eve is going to be our biggest snowfall of the season. 33 was our high temp today. 11 was our morning low. And in downtown Denver, we made it to 37. So overnight tonight, we'll see some mountain snow start to develop here over the eastern plains. By tomorrow morning, we'll have mostly sunny skies. So it's actually going to be a very nice day and a warmer day for the eastern part of Colorado. So mostly clear, breezy tonight, about 21. Fit near 50 tomorrow. Not bad at all. A little breezy and then 38 Friday, the snow. We're on a first alert for tomorrow on for Friday for that snow coming through and only 20 on New Year's Day overnight lows in the single digits. And then we bounce into the 40s on Sunday and Monday. So it could be Denver's biggest snow so far, gang. I'll keep you on top of it. I'm sure you will, Dave.